I'd uh, like to thank everybody for coming here today. I'd especially like to thank uh, Comptroller Francho for uh, coming to Grayson Elementary School, County Commissioner Mr. Moran, and County Commissioner Mr. Bucky, and also Sheriff Hoffman for attending today. Um, today is truly about the unsung heroes that sometimes you do not get to see. They're working in the mornings, they're working late at night when we're home with our you know, families. And it's quite an honor. We do a lot of construction in this county with schools. After they're built, we're looking at like a 30 to 40 year lifespan for those schools. So the people that do this day in and day out are the custodians and the maintenance staff. Um, and like I said, you truly do an awesome job. I'm very proud of each and every one of you and you know how I feel about you. Um, I just personally want to say before Mr. Francho speaks, just thank you for all you do. But also, again, wanted to thank the county commissioners and Mr. Francho for helping us uh, with the aging school funds, also helping us with the capital projects. With the um, energy efficiency initiative, we were able to put a new chiller in here, LED lighting, um, upgraded T5 lighting, and then also with the security initiative, we were um, able to uh, add security cameras and um, put in our own um, display board in the front where they can view those all in the front of the school. So without stealing your show, sir, I'd like to turn this over to you. So well, thank you, can, you very uh, much. Yeah, what a great introduction that is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just very pleased that uh, you're here, Sid, along with the uh, interim superintendent and the, uh, the other folks from the system because every uh, ship needs a captain. And frankly, without good leadership, uh, none of this making maintenance, taking care of what we have, just doesn't become a priority. And when I say unsung heroes, yeah, you're unsung heroes. I was in uh, Western Maryland the other day, and we uh, gave this same award to uh, Fort Hill High School, built in 1936, wow. immaculate. Better condition than the high schools in my own home county, in Montgomery County. You, know, you go to the auditorium and the seats are not all marked up and, you know, worn out. And why is that? It's because of the uh, pride and respect that the county, Allegheny County, places in taking care of what it has. And then you get the kids involved and it becomes a team effort. So. My hat's off to you guys. I've got something special for each of you. I wanted to thank uh, Carol Camp, the principal. Where'd she go? There she is. Carol. Uh, um, I gave one of these comptroller medallions, much coveted. Uh, recently, I gave one to uh, former President Bill Clinton, who was in Maryland. And I gave one to, uh, I really enjoyed giving one to Governor Hogan. Now well, that made me feel good because he didn't have anything to respond with. He's since, I think, making some of these up. But I give these fabulous medallions to first responders, uh, EMS, fire, police, uh, also veterans. But I also give them to Marylanders who make a difference. Carol, really. Thank you. Uh, and uh, if I could just uh, say uh, how pleased I am to be here and have uh, everyone here, and Commissioner Bucky and Commissioner Moran, I'm delighted that you're here. I'm delighted uh, that uh, Mrs. Bucky is here. Uh, welcome. I should give you a medallion for putting up with it. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. gave me a medallion yeah. in Ocean City. So. Yeah. Well, that's she good. Give it to her. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but it's great to have the Board of Ed folks here also and other uh, advocates for the system. Uh, I happen to think that the Silver Hammer Award, which we're presenting today for Queen Anne's County, is the best award that the state gives out because uh, it allows the state of Maryland, which is a rich state, let's be honest. We have a lot of wealth in our state, we're lucky, but uh, we're not made out of money and we just cannot afford to keep building new schools simply because the old ones deteriorate, fall apart, and everybody's got this disposable uh, concept where uh, when something uh, is, tw is 20 years old, it's got to be replaced. We don't have the money to do that. So uh, I mentioned Fort Hill uh, High. That school 
uh, has saved uh, probably well over $150 million for the state of Maryland because they've just taken care of it. We're building a new school. That's, that was one of the reasons I was asking. <laughs> but I wanted to respect the fact that everybody had taken such good care of it. And just as they've taken care of Graysonville, which is not as old, okay. It's only whatever it is, 21 years old or something. And I know, uh, but it's just as important to uh, get out here and recognize the terrific example that a school like this does, uh, particularly when we have tight budget times. So, I love the superior maintenance. I love the individuals and the leaders that have produced it. And uh, that's what the Silver Hammer Award is all about. It's essentially uh, thank you for helping us manage through tough times, and thank you for ensuring the safety and well being of our students and faculty and staff. And um, so, I'd like to recognize Jim O'Donnell. Is he here? Jim? Congratulations, uh, all of your colleagues, David Carter, <coughs> Smith, Jamal Newman, Tim Robinson. I'm sure I'm leaving a few out, but I've got medallions for everybody because uh, I think we owe you a debt of gratitude. I do, because it's hard work. And uh, I'm just delighted that you've uh, allowed the students here to uh, have a well-maintained facility. So give them all a round of applause. Winchester? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You still have to pay your taxes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to need a few more of these. Thank you. You got some? Yeah. Yeah. Thank Carter. You. Thank you. Mr. Robinson. Yeah. Who else we got here? Carmen? What's your name, sir? Mark. And uh, you got it? There we go. Shots? <laughs> yeah, seriously. And this is a. What's your name? Scott. Scott, Scott how are you? Nice Good. to meet you. you? And, uh, I gave the first, very first one I made of these uh, a year ago to my dad, who has just moved to Maryland from Ohio. Uh, this is a year and a half ago, and uh, well, Governor Hogan was so happy someone was moving to Maryland that he had a big lunch for him. <laughs> but my father happened to be a B-24 bomber pilot in World War II. Great. I can't make this stuff up. And I was so proud to give him one of these. Uh, he, typical of that generation, was like, hey, there's nothing special about us. But, told me they had a 20-day life expectancy, and he made it. But greatest generation. Yeah. So I hope you uh, keep these, and because uh, uh, I think there's a lot of good stuff there involved. So on the policy stuff, uh, we're giving it, uh, Carol, to this school because you received a 94% on the state inspection. Uh, this is a very, very difficult test to take. It involves engineering criteria. I think there are 37 categories. They look at everything from the roof to the outside grounds to the hallway floors. Uh, the state uh, takes these jobs very seriously, unlike uh, Commissioner Bucky and Commissioner Moran. We're all in the business of making people like us. These, <laughs> these engineers are all business. They want to know what exactly uh, the boiler looks like and uh, what's being done to take care of it. So said, so you know that these folks, uh, this is not a subjective test, it's an objective one. All I can say is that Governor Hogan, who I mentioned before, is uh, just completely on board about this concept of school maintenance. And he has uh, been a wonderful new partner on the Board of Public Works. We vote on all the school construction money. And that's why I have a particular interest in this. Uh, and uh, I want to salute Governor Hogan for being a breath of fresh air, frankly, in uh, joining with me and saying this should be a top priority for all Marylanders. And he's actually transforming it to other agencies, not just school construction. And when people appear before the Board of Public Works, he's asking them what they're doing to take care of what the taxpayers are paying for. So hats off to him, and then Treasurer Cobb 
is the third person on uh, the board. But it's uh, something I think Marylanders expect. They want their leaders to provide oversight over our public investments and education projects, and they want to make sure their tax dollars are getting good results. And they're not interested in a lot of stuff about, oh boy, the school's falling apart. They want, they want results. And so I'm out here saluting each of you. Uh, I'm delighted that uh, the other schools in the state have to compete with you and compete with the team effort. I know the kids are involved too, out of principle. Uh, maybe you could come up and just say a word on behalf of the school because it's a team effort. Yes. This is not a, Sir. and I don't mean to go on and on. I'd like to have uh, Commissioner Bucky, Commissioner Moran, and Sheriff Hoffman come up and say a word also. Um, oh, well, let me present it. Let me present it to the principal here. Yeah. This? <coughs> Yeah, this is by, given uh, by, come on up, commissioners and elected official, elected board members, if you would. Appointed board, board members, too, if you want. Yeah, we forgot. I, I apologize because I forgot oh, to introduce. Uh, Delegate Aaron. Aaron. Delegate Aaron. Hey, how are you, Steve? two of our board members. Great. Um, very big supporters. Hi. Kathy Kelly. 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 Oh, pleasure. Yes, we saw, saw you come in. Yes. Yeah. 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 Who's the captain? Somebody's a captain. Wow. <laughs> what, is that in the military? Or Coast Guard. Yes, sir. 30 years. Wow. Come on up here. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we call them coins in the military. Yeah. Right well, there you go. Yeah. You have to buy me a wrap tonight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's great. Congratulations on your service. So this yeah. is uh, presented by all the elected officials that are here it's from a grateful state of Maryland to Graysonville Elementary School, Queen Anne's County, in recognition of receiving the Comptroller's Silver Hammer Award for 2016. The hard work and unwavering dedication of your staff demonstrates the importance Maryland schools place in creating a healthy and safe environment for students. As one of only 24 schools statewide receiving this honor, your continued maintenance and upkeep efforts serve as an example of fiscal responsibility that all public facilities should strive to emulate. My heartfelt thanks, gratitude, best wishes for the future presented this sixth day of October. And uh, why don't you, on behalf of your uh, crew, come on up and accept this award. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Principal, please uh, say a word about how great the school is. I think is. it is a team effort here. And um, while we appreciate everything that our maintenance staff does and our custodial staff, we really work hard to emphasize to our students that they play a part in maintaining the building too. Good. So um, we offer a squeaky clean award <laughs> for the class that keeps the cafeteria the cleanest. And our thoughts there are if our custodians have to, have to spend less time cleaning in the cafeteria, they can maintain the rest of the building. So it certainly is a team effort. I know all of the teachers encourage the students to clean up every day. And um, I'm very thankful to be on this team of fine working people. Congratulations. Thank you. And thanks for joining me. <laughs> Next year I may change it to the from Silver Hammer to Squeaky Clean. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Bucky, uh, sure. Yeah. So, uh, you know, again, I want to thank the school board. Uh, you guys, this is a testament of what you guys have done in this county. When I look at this school, to me, it, it looks like a new school when you go by. And the work that you ladies and gentlemen have put in is, is great. It goes a long ways for the state of Maryland, as Peter Francho mentioned, saving dollars. But there's a lot of uns, unsung heroes in the county and in the school system in the county itself. And on behalf of the county commissioners, I want to thank you tremendously for the work you do and what you've done here. Thank you. Commissioner Buck, you covered it very well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got my vote. <laughs> but I'm delighted that uh, Delegate uh, Aaron is here. He's uh, one of the hardest working leaders in Annapolis, and I'm delighted, Steve, that you're able to join us. Thank you. Please say a word. My only thing is, I have two kids who went to this school. It's been great. It's still great, and congratulations. Great job. I, I, something in the program that I just wanted to, to say about the state inspectors concurred that Grayson Elementary School provides an, an, an environment to get such a high rating, as you said. The inspectors noted that Grayson Elementary is nicely maintained and shows this staff has pride in the school. 
and it certainly shows and thank you all very much for what you do every day for our students I really appreciate it um, just one item uh, the schools are old a lot of the schools in Queen Anne's County um, and in my experience with old cutters because we used to get ships from the Navy all the time even though it may be old and have old pipes if it's clean it meant means all the difference in the world um, in people's attitude in health and all kinds of reasons so it's cleanliness sounds like a, a mommy thing but it really does matter um, and it can make all the difference you can walk into an old school and have it look like this and and have just as much or more pride than a brand new state-of-the-art school so thank you all very very much Whenever I bring Sheriff Hoffman with me, the kids want to check his gun out and make everything <laughs> sure they're more interested in him than they are, than they are in me. But Gary, thank you for everything Thanks. you do for the county and uh, all the great leadership you show. And please tell your troops that we're, uh, we got the back. Yes, sir. Thank thank you. You say word, right? I just want to say thank you to all of you. It's, it's, it's interesting because I was here when this school opened. You know, I guess it, hard to believe it was 21 years ago when this school opened, but I remember walking through and taking the tour of one of the newest and greatest schools in Queen Anne's County, and, and it still looks the same as it did then. Uh, and just want to thank you for all your efforts, especially helping with taxpayer money and saving things like that. So it's important to us, and it really does work. It is appreciated, so thank you. And uh, Greg and, uh, and uh, Janet, if she's here, or Greg, sure. if you want to make a few remarks, you're... Uh, you're the uh, person if something goes wrong, you're the way. <laughs> but when something goes right, we're ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. And similar to what everyone has said here today, you know, often when we talk about the business of schooling and schools, it's about productivity equals output divided by input. And for us as a school system, our productivity is teaching and learning. And our output is that all students graduate on time, college and career ready, divided by all resources to educate all children. And I think the all resources to educate all children, this is a great example of how all of our resources continually working together to create a safe environment, a healthy environment, and a very productive environment. So I would like to thank all of our elected officials, our Board of Education members, uh, our leadership uh, from Ms. Camp, but I would also like to recognize Michelle Carey, who is the principal here prior to Ms. Camp, as we Where talk about... Uh, uh, she's not here. Oh. She's working at her other school. <laughs> oh, okay. And how important that is of that leadership that that has continued. So I'd like to thank all of you personally for what you do every single day to make a difference in the lives of all of our students. Thank you. And, uh, is it Jim? Yes. Do you want to say a word on behalf of <laughs> No, really. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, it's uh, much appreciated. And, uh, are you folks all with the county, or how, are some yes. of you assigned just to this school? So the three custodians here, yeah. and the lead custodians, David Carter, wave, wave your hand, David. Come on, David. <laughs> and then my three custodians who work the school. Great. Jamal is the morning shift, Good. and then Miss Shirley and Mr. Tim are the afternoon shift. <coughs> And they yeah. came in early for this today. <laughs> thank you very much for that. Mr. Carter, you want to say a word on behalf of the team? I just want to thank everybody because when it got really rough, everybody stuck together. And I really appreciate it. Made this especially. And Mr. Carter was the lead custodian at this school before he became the building foreman for the county. Wow. And I know and I've heard that he worked very hard for it to maintain this school. So a lot of this is for his hard work and leadership. Can you make sure the kids know how much we appreciate I certainly things will. and maybe show them the uh, medallion and the other stuff so that they get an idea of uh, what a priority it is to keep the school in tip-top shape? Right. And Thanks. the guys in blue are our maintenance workers, so they work for the whole county. Uh -oh. And so they You're come call, in right? when we have when we have a major problem, and they're all wonderful. Also, they always come in with a positive attitude, even though I might have a lot of complaints. <laughs> <laughs> How's the air conditioning work? How's it? Do you have air conditioning in the yes. school? Yes, yes. yes, we do. Great. Yes. Good, because there are forty thousand kids in Baltimore City. 
Baltimore County that have no air conditioning. And get this, they've renovated the schools. So they put in these new windows and you can't open them because it's, you know, energy efficient. So you got no air conditioning, can't open the windows, no air circulation, and they expect the teachers to teach uh, and the kids to learn. And then they expect the kids to be just as good on the test. But actually, I misspoke. It's not 40,000. It's 50,000 kids as I speak. You know, people are trying to change things, but uh, it's uh, a great state, but we've got to fix that up in the Baltimore region because no wonder the kids don't score well on tests. And uh, so I didn't mean to bring that up, but I'm delighted. <laughs> I, I kind of had a thought that, that you, were, you had air conditioning because everybody else in the state does, except those 50,000 kids up there in Baltimore. Makes us great. Grateful and fortunate. Hey, the world is made up of people that live in Queen Anne's and the rest of them want to live in Queen Anne's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all the best. Thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, bro. Alrighty, one, two, three. I'd like to have uh, Janet Pauls, the assistant superintendent, uh, say a word. And uh, I, I uh, am delighted that you're here. Well, thank you. So. And I'd just like to say thank you to the comptroller. This is the second time one of the schools. Hey, Steve. This is the second time one of the schools in Queen Anne's County has been recognized and received the Silver Hammer Award. So it speaks volumes for how you feel about us here on the shore yeah. and for the great work that Mr. Pender and his team does. So we just want to say thank you to everyone who make this happen every day because we would not be receiving this award if it was not for you. So thank you. Well, thank you. I'm going to give you one more yeah. yeah. video on um, Mouse Paint. We read a story uh -huh. online. And they are learning in primary and secondary colors. We're doing a worksheet to go along to them. Well, I'm here to, with Delegate Aarons and the interim superintendent and your principal because we're honoring all of the maintenance people that keep oh. the school clean. Yes. What were their names, Miss uh, uh, Shirley? Miss Shirley. You know Miss Shirley? Mr. Newman and Mr. Robinson. You so, see them in the cafeteria. They have the brown shirts on. And so they, they got recognized for keeping our buildings so clean. Very nice. So would you guys make sure when you see them in the lunchroom that you give them a go up and say thank you for keeping the school clean? And yeah. what's your name? Haley. Oh, I will. Oh, you will? What's your name? Oh, I will. I will. Oh, okay, good. I will. I'm going to give your uh, art teacher one of my much coveted medallions. I give these to Marylanders who make a difference. She's Thank, you. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pass it around. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay. I didn't have anything Steve, to do with you want to say Nice and shiny, guys. Nice and shiny. When we leave here, I'll let you guys look at this as we walk out, okay? Yeah, what color is that now? That's kind gold. of uh, gold. You're right. Like gold, like a gold trophy. Maybe that's what it is. Like a trophy, right? I'm going to display it in here. Do you have a trophy? Yeah, I do. Wow. I have a trophy. So these are all of our kindergarten classrooms right here. I think they are special, so that's why the room is empty right now. But you did get to meet one class. Sure. At least. No, it's good. That's terrific. Yeah. Peter, both yeah. my kids went to this. Just love it. How, how are they doing? They're so good. My daughter and I want to go there. She's at the uh, Collins Park right now. So this is our media center. Oh, good. Specialist. Huh? Are you Jamie Welch. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Controller Cranshaw. Steve Aarons. Delegate Aarons. Aarons, I like that. How's everything going? Nice place to work. Yeah. 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 Very, very spoiled. That's so much we have our reading class in here. We have a book fair going on where they usually have reading. So they've had to be relocated in here. We are kind of tight for space. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is a wonderful space right here. Well, and it's nice that we can use that and they have some extra room, you know, for a week at work. Who are we going to set? Us. Us.
Or what else? Okay. We. we. Us, we, I. Um, yep. And these are most of our fourth grade classrooms right in this cluster here. What grade do you go up to? We go up to fifth. Uh, kindergarten to fifth, and then we have an AM and PM kindergarten. We use the Success for All reading program, which um, we have two reading blocks, and we regroup the kids by level, and they have a 90-minute uninterrupted reading program with kids who are all reading about the same level. And they used this around 21 years ago when I was here first as the reading specialist, and it's still here, which I think is remarkable, because that usually doesn't happen with an innovation like that. But um, the kids, I mean, test scores are good at this school, and a lot of the reason is because of the reading program. Um, right. So we have a cafeteria gym combination. Jim's right in there. And he's in there cleaning away. So we took him out, and so he has to get yeah. that room ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have an after-school program that's in there after school, so our spaces are used continually. All right. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. So guys, if I could just make one last presentation to Sid for uh, MC and run the show organization very smoothly. Thank you for a nice meeting. I appreciate it, sir. And uh, for everything that you represent. Today. Thank you very much. Just keep up the good work. We'll try. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. If you get pulled over, you can pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh, you're, you're I need all I can get. <laughs> yeah. The other Other person's will come off. Yeah. <laughs> Sid's a former state trooper. Really? Yeah. My father was also a first sergeant of the state police also. He's a back from but you know, it's a very proud that uh, agency. It took a different path, so enjoy yeah. what I'm doing now. Well, I love that mask on over there. So, uh, yeah, that's great. Take, mm -hmm. Yeah, take care of that. <laughs> and uh, Madam Principal, thank you. Thank you very so, much. Very, very good. I appreciate it. Yeah.